Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. This week I had Peter come to see me really, really confused. He'd been watching a lot of YouTube videos and was getting lost into how to make the backswing correct, how to bring it the club down into impact, how to square the club up consistently. He just found himself so confused with so much conflicting advice. And he came to me and said, look, Danny, do you have a simple exercise that I can work on that could be potentially improve my backswing and my downswing? He said, look, he didn't have a lot of time. He said, like, I worked really, really hard. Um, but if you can give me something that I can do at home, or maybe, you know, if, uh, simple exercise I can take to a driving range, I'd really, really appreciate it. Well, this week I have that exercise. I have a very, very simple exercise that will help you simply improve your backswing here and your downswing to make you much, much more consistent. That is what we're going to do in this week's training. Before we get into it though, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. I release videos like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. So, what's this simple exercise? Well, let me preface it by saying, look, the simple exercise, um, I saw a, a Pete Cowan student uh, demonstrating. It's really, really, really good. And, and like I say, you can do it on a range or you can actually do it at home as well. So here's the problem. Most people, when they're taking the club back, they tend to take it with their hands and their arms and it all becomes disjointed, right? So we, if you can, in a sense, work, we want to create a much, much wider swing and a much more solid swing. But at the same time, you obviously want to take control of the club face. So imagine if we, can, if we could create a backswing that has width in it, but at the same time, we can able to control the face, then we're on to a potential winner. So how do we go about achieving that? Well, what I want you to do is get yourself set, put your arms out in front of your biceps, nice and connected to your chest with your thumbs up here. And what we're gonna do now is this. Using your trail shoulder, what I want you to do is this. We're gonna pull the trail shoulder behind us here. We're gonna draw this club back. Now, most people, when they take the club back, they take it back with their hands. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull them to about hip height here. Now, you'll notice this in this situation here, my thumbs are pointing here and they're parallel to my spine angle here. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply just cock the, uh, the thumbs upwards here, and the thumbs now are pointed at an angle around about 45 degrees. From this position, all we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the ground, and we're gonna bring those thumbs back to square. This is obviously controlling now the face, right? From there, how do you take it back from there? Well, what we do now is simply bring a golf club in hand. We take ourselves set up with, with the left hand, put the right hand in now, thumb up here and again same principle what we're going to do now is this we're going to simply move it back we're going to repeat the exercise here so we're going to draw the right shoulder back keep this together here completely parallel to the spine let me show you from this angle here so i'm pulling it back here the club face look is parallel to my spine the thumbs are also parallel to my spine here and then what we're going to do is we're going to then cock the wrists here so the thumbs are looking at pointing around about 45 degrees and then we're pretty much set. From here, we're gonna drive down and move the thumbs back to square. Again, from here with the face on, this position here, cock to 45, and then from this position, drive it back down to square here. Now all we do, put the two hands on, move the hands back into position here, just where they were before, cocking to 45 and again driving back into impact so you're using your thumbs as a guide to where square is so let's have a look at this in action now the way you start with this start with it really slow remember look you've got to teach your body this and, and trying to do this really quick is going to be really tricky so start off really uh, slow with peter i suggested let's do it at home just do exercises at home learn the feel of it then add um the, a ball in a little bit later so here's how we do with this if we get ourselves set we might break it down into something like this. We're gonna work it to here. We're gonna cock the wrist to here. And then very slowly, we're gonna start with the ground and move back to here. And I'll break it down just like that. I often relate the golf scene sometimes to like learning a language. You don't learn a sentence straight away when you're learning a language. You learn individual words first. You learn to pronounce those words and then eventually you learn to join those words together. Well, here's the first word. We're gonna get the thumbs parallel here to the spine. We're then gonna, second word is then we're gonna feel that, and then we're gonna feel the cock in the wrist here, and then we're simply gonna feel the transition back into impact, so the thumbs now are pointing directly at you and are nice and square. Let's have a look at this again in action, nice and slow. One, two, three. 
okay? Not my finest strike in the world, but it's not about that. It's about learning the sensation. I felt that was possibly a little bit too quick initially as well. So let's have a look at that in slow motion. And the drill is as simple as that. If you want to try and, if you want something, you're struggling with time and you want something that you can practice at home, get a feel of what the backspin is supposed to feel like and impact, this drill works really, really well. Let's summarize, what is it? What are we trying to do? What are the common problems here? A lot of players, like I said, they take it back with their hands, they're lifting out of position here, the club's rolling around, they come over the top, there's loads of things going on. This exercise, works to try and help improve that completely. So let's have a look at this. What do, we, what do we start with? We start with our thumbs pointing towards you. We get them this way, this way, parallel to the spine. We then cock them, look, at a 45 degree angle here, and then we bring them back to square. Here, here, and back to square. Build up to the golf club. One, one, two, three, bring in the club, one, two, three, and then slowly bring in the golf ball, break it down, one, two, three, and gradually introduce the swing, and it's as simple as that. Work to treat for Peter, give him something really simple to work on, and the great thing by doing it in slow motion, he could also measure it himself as well. Hope you really enjoy this training. If you do and you know someone else would like a simple tip like this, please share it. And obviously if you like it, give it a thumbs up as well. And if you haven't uh, done also already, maybe consider subscribing to the channel so I can give you some more great videos next week. Until next week, have a great golfing week.